Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Today I just want to do a quick video on interpreting the difference between tangency and curvature continuous in SOLIDWORKS. So these are terms you might see in both sketches and features. You might also see the um, equal curvature, um, things like that. And uh, all these means, all these are just different continuities between uh, two different faces or two different surfaces here. So in a sketch like this, um, which we can see the difference between uh, the connection to these arcs and these splines. So uh, to illustrate this, I have turned on curvature combs for both of these arc these arcs and we'll see them show up as soon as we have some curvature on these splines here and uh, if you're not familiar with curvature combs uh, essentially they tell us two pieces of information they tell us the direction normal to a point on our curve here as well as a, a magnitude of curvature so curvature just being the inverse of radius so if I go ahead and put on those uh, sketch relations so I'll do a tangency between this spline and this arc, and then I'm going to do the equal curvature for this one on the right. Okay, so they were identical. Um, now, essentially, uh, because we imposed those uh, relations on there, it had to change the shape of our splines. So if we look over here on the tangent side, uh, tangency, all it's done is it's changed the direction of the curvature combs on our spline to match up with the one on our arc. So right where they hit this point here, uh, our, the curvature combs have to be in the same direction. Uh, it does not dictate the magnitudes of curvature on uh, between the two though. Uh, that's really the big difference between tangency and the equal curvature. Um, you can actually see that when you do an equal curvature, it also adds a tangent relation. So the direction of our curvature combs, those normal lines, are going to line up at that point, as well as the magnitude of curvature. So we can see that the curvature uh, increases as it gets closer to that point, and this is going to make a smoother connection. So if I actually go and extrude these out, then uh, we can kind of see if uh, obviously they have slightly different shape here and you can kind of just see right off the bat maybe that's a little different but it's a little easier if you look at them with zebra stripes or something so um, if we look over here at the tangent side um, we can kind of see where that line is so if I kind of move this guy around here do you see there's kind of these uh, points here, these kind of uh, vertexes where these zebra lines are kind of changing direction. Um, and that's that line, that intersection between our arc and our spline. If we look on the other side, the curvature continuous side, then we can see that uh, it's a little smoother transition through there. So there shouldn't be any kind of discontinuity there. Um, another one is if we look at just the curvature display here, then we can see the curvature is going to evenly blend between these uh, different types of curvature here from flat to, to highly curved, whereas the tangent is just going to be a solid color change here. So the curvature is just uh, changing very abruptly. So um, it really depends on your application. If, you're, if it's anything that's going to be held or uh, needs to look good, uh, you're really going to always want to have these uh, curvature continuous. Uh, having these nice blends of curvature over your shapes. Okay, so just want to talk about looking at the difference between uh, tangency and curvature continuous today. Uh, thank you very much for watching.